Here's how I've paid off almost $60,000 in credit card debt and student loans. Like many of you, I struggled to live within my means. I was barely making money living in New York City, paying for expensive rent. I had student loan debt having gone to NYU, a private school, and being irresponsible in my 20s in New York City. All of these habits that I'm about to share with you, I learned reading Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover. When I started budgeting, I sat down every month, calculated how much I brought home every paycheck, and then assigned where every dollar was gonna go, how much was going towards my rent, how much was going towards food, how much was going towards nights out with my friends. I even budgeted how much was gonna go towards my credit card and my student loans to quickly pay it off. Two, I paid for everything in cash. I got rid of my credit card. It's not true what they say. You do not need a credit card for emergencies. What you actually need is a proper savings account to cover your emergencies. The general rule that I you know, took on was that if I can't pay for it in cash, I'm not allowed to buy it. By the way, this is a habit that I still exercise today. I do not buy things anymore unless I can pay for it immediately in cash. I do have a credit card now though, but I immediately pay it off. Three, I got aggressive with debt. I started paying off the things with high interest first and then paid the minimums on everything else. The thing that was killing me at that time was the high interest on my American Express card. Something silly that I started doing, but highly effective for me, was I came up with a little chart and every time I paid off my credit card payment and got closer to getting rid of debt, I just crossed it off and it became a game for me. When you're trying to get financially fit, what you realize is that it's not about how much money or how little money that you're making at your day job. It is absolutely about habits. However, it absolutely does help if you have supplemental income. And I found two avenues of supplemental income. The first one was I started blogging. That became a side hobby. At first it was just a hobby. I did not see it as like a way to make some extra cash. However, brands started reaching out. I was making a couple hundred dollars here and there doing some sponsored posts when it started to become a thing and that helped me pay off. Two, I started selling stuff on eBay. Even the like dress that you don't think anybody will buy, if you list it on eBay for like $20, somebody will buy it. Everything that you own has value. By the way, I still sell stuff on eBay to this day. And lastly, habit five, I learned how to live with non-necessities and learned how to negotiate. I cut out cable, I cut out internet. Yes, I lived without internet for a really long time and went to all the coffee shops to use their free Wi-Fi. I learned how to call Amex and negotiate a lower APR. I called T-Mobile and asked for a cheaper plan just to save me a couple hundred dollars a year. So if you're someone who's drowning in debt right now, know that it's totally possible to pay it off no matter how high your debt is. If you found this helpful, let me know if you want a part two.